to another exciting episode of the 75 build and man today I know I've been saying this for the last couple of episodes but this is an exciting episode trust me basically we have the cab being put fully back together every panel is painted every panel is going on and it will be a complete cab by the end of this episode I guarantee it and then you'll be able to see what it looks like so we're on to the side steps as you uh, would have known from I think maybe the first episode when we were stripping everything off the car uh, the old side steps which I've got right here they are just rusty broken bent like anything so we thought hey we'll get some new ones um, exactly the same the only issue is a few bolts may have been stripped in the process not stripped snapped because uh, they were so rusty so that's what you're doing now that's what I'm doing now getting out the old rusty bolts putting the new side step on ourselves a set of mirrors for the 75 thanks to Clearview so definitely appreciate them sending this out now these ones here they're extendable we're probably going to be tying with the 75 but also because the canopy is so wide we needed mirrors that we could actually see the full length back um, so these things are going to come in handy now we opted for the non electrical ones so you can actually get Clearviews that are um, fully electric um, for all your mirror adjustments obviously the 75 has hardly any electronics. So let's get him out of the box and let's put him on the 75. It's on the box, it has this massive QR code, which basically you scan that with your phone um, and then straight away it pops up with all the fitting instructions. Obviously, depending on what car you have, depending on how hard it is to fit. We got some brackets. We got the um, pad so it doesn't damage your door. The uh, the padding is actually quite nice and probably what differentiates them is on this side. They've even got the rubber seal. Uh, also, what I like I've just seen is you've got a base plate for your bottom section of your mirror. Uh, now, other ones just have your nut certs which go into the door, uh, which tends to, it's, uh, nut certs are okay. And these are not so, but this is a frame inside the door so you don't get any buckling uh, on your door skin. So we've got to take the trim off and then these will go on the inside, bolt them straight through. I'm cleaning the inside of the door so your double sided tape really adheres to the door skin. Just using a bit of mineral terps, prep sole, uh, whatever you've got. Just make sure it's clean. Make sure that we put a little bit of rust proofing on the end of the bolts before they go in. Um, you know, I know we say it's time and time again, but we're just doing that to every bolt just to make sure we want as little rust in this car in the future as possible. The door is all put back together, so now we're on to the driver's door, let's put it back together. Three new fan belts going on. Last one is the AC belt. So I've got to get the adjuster back all the way off so we can get the belt on. We can then back the tension back up again. There we go. Belt on. Should only be able to turn it about 180 degrees. It's still too loose.
Looking good. See how dirty it is? It should be nice and red. You're pumping the old fluid out. Yeah, that'll do. That's our old oil. How dirty it is. That's what the colour the, the new oil should be. Scott's just flushed it as well. He's just going to let that drain and then we'll put in the good oil. So something else that we've got for the 75 um, is a new radiator, heavy duty one as well, so it'll be unreal. Radiator overflow bottle. It should look something like that. <laughs> overflow bottle going in. New bolts. Genuine Toyota fluid in there. Our overflow bottle in. Radiator connected. Overflow bottle connected. Time to run it and run the water through it. <laughs> So I'm going to fit the headlight. We're just putting the uh, the classics back in. Obviously, we would like a set of LEDs, but at the moment, uh, we don't have any. These are going for now. Hopefully, later on, we'll change them to something a little bit more fancy. And so we can actually see at night, because these are basically a candle. Headlights are in. Alrighty, we've got the bonnet lock panel. So we're putting in the bonnet latch. Just trying to soak it as much as I can in oil, so that we can Get rid of any rust and make sure it's lubricated well so that it works forever. Center grill stay is going in. Then we can close the bonnet, make sure that our alignment is right. Another thing ticked off the list. Okay, so we just started the car. We're trying to run the fluid through the vehicle, trying to run the coolant through, waiting for the car to warm up. At this stage, no water's dropped, but it should drop soon. We just turn the wheels left to right with no pressure on the actual vehicle, so we can run the power steering fluid through the new power steering fluid we've just fitted to the car. Listen, we've got some side skirts on, we've got the clear view mirrors on, we've got the door nearly assembled, the front end's just about done. Happy days. Another day done and dusted working on the 75. Well, we've got a few things done today. We've got the majority of the doors in. We've got the clear view mirrors on. We've got a radiator. Radiator. Power steering done. You read all the fluids, the belts. Um, the headlights are in. The front's looking a whole lot more. Basically, we just need the grill. That's getting painted and the bull bar. The front's done. So great day. Appreciate you watching, getting this far. Make sure to like, subscribe, all of that jazz. We'll see you next time. Next time. See ya.